Welcome back curl friends. So today we're reviewing some curly clip-ins from Better Length. So I was contacted by the folks over at Better Length Extensions to review some of their curly clip-ins and I'm super super excited to share these clip-ins with you guys. So I have them installed in my hair right right now at this moment. If you guys can tell, I have some added length. They offer three different textures on their website. They offer a light yakky, curly, as well as a coarse yakky. The curly hair, of course, is created to mimic our naturally curly hair. The light yakky mimics permed or relaxed hair. The coarse yakky is for those of us who practice blowouts or straighten our natural hair and it has a little bit more texture to the straightness of the hair. So getting into the specs of what I particularly chose to review, I chose their curly texture. This is in the 20 inch length, a color number 1B, which is a off black color. Butter length, like I said, they offer three textures as well as three different colors. The different colors that they offer are number 1, 1B, as well as a number 2. And like I said, this is a 1B, and I think most of us that have our natural hair color still without any chemicals on it, you probably are going to be in the range of a 1B because this hair looks really, really dark on camera and in person, but out into the sunlight, it can look a little bit more brown. It has a lot of brown undertones, which makes it look pretty, pretty natural to our natural hair. So moving into the unboxing, like I said, this is for the Better Length Clip-Ins. They come absolutely quick. They have expedited shipping. My clip-ins came in within two to three days. It's on ground shipping, um, UPS, and I was super, super excited to get them really, really quick. So A plus on the shipping. As far as packaging, it came in this beautiful, beautiful box. One of the best boxes that I've ever seen when it comes to packaging hair. They definitely paid attention to detail when it came to their packaging. It has this nice little box. It looks sort of like a shoe box, but it has a magnetic strip that holds the box together. And when you open it up, um, there's a little pink ribbon that is holding the box together. Really, really nice and cute. And when you open it up, you'll see your clip-in extensions as well as an invoice and an extra set of clips. So you get one extra clip, I guess, if you're clipping extensions come loose you can sew it back together yourself. Moving on to the actual hair package. It came in this nice little clear sleeve with a Better Limb sticker on the outside which also tells you what kind of hair you are receiving and this is 100% Remy Human hair. The weight of this hair is between 140 grams to 160 grams. So you're getting a lot of hair in the bundle and it comes with seven pieces. You're gonna get one extra long piece two long wefts, two medium wefts, as well as two small wefts. And as I previously stated, this is 100% Remy human hair, so it's not virgin hair, and most of the curly textures will not be virgin hair when you find them out on the market because they are steam processed to achieve this curl pattern. So now that we're done with the unboxing, let's get into the review, my pros and cons. Now instantly when I got the package and I opened up the hair, I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. The curl pattern was absolutely on point and beautiful. It was extremely, extremely soft and it pretty much mimicked natural hair. I love the fact that it came in a natural color versus a jet black. Taking it out of the box, um, like I said, they had little hair ties around each, around the set of clip-ins. And when I took those down, I went ahead and I ran my fingers through the hair dry to see if I would get any type of tangles or shedding. I was expecting to get tangles because this is curly hair. Like I said, it has been steam processed to achieve this curl. So I was expecting tangles. Um, but I did notice some shedding and I'm pretty, pretty sure that the shedding is from maybe when they cut the wefts to create the clip-ins. Um, that's probably like the leftover shed hair because honestly speaking after me washing it, drying it, and wearing it, I don't see any shedding now. It's not as bad as it was when I was running my hands through it dry. And one of their recommended procedures were to use a spray bottle and add some conditioner to it as well as some water so you're pretty much going to be practicing the co-washing method. And for wash day, they suggest that you co-wash the hair as well. Don't use any shampoos or anything. So I went ahead, I did a wash day test, and I washed my one of the clip-ins just to see what it would look like. Um, I didn't really like the hair wet. I did not feel like it was 
it didn't really mimic a curl pattern. It didn't look like curly hair at all. It kind of looked very, very weighed down. Kind of felt like synthetic hair for a second. Um, it looked like a wavier pattern versus a curly pattern. So I don't really like the hair wet, to be quite honest with you guys. I do love the hair when it dries though. And um, after manipulating the curl pattern. So one thing that I do recommend is when you're washing these extensions to use a dimming brush and kind of emphasize that curl and create that curl pattern because if you just let it air dry or you just leave it to dry it will look wavy and it won't look as curly as you may want it to look to blend in with your natural hair seamlessly. Um, another thing that I tried was to do a two strand twist out to set my hair as it dried and I did love the results. This is actually the results of two strain twisting the hair at night and I just pretty much pulled the curls apart to create this nice fluffy big hair because you guys know my hair is really really thick and dense so I really wanted to blend it seamlessly but like I said I'm not really feeling the wet look for our natural hair texture as many of us have more of the kinkier type of hair. Um, I don't feel like it mimicked natural hair as much but like I said if you manipulate the hair manipulate the curl pattern you can create a seamless blend. Other than that I think this is some great hair to invest in. It's a great um, curly hair texture. I personally preferred the hair dry straight out the pack. I wouldn't really recommend co-washing it as soon as you're getting it or anything like that. Um, and I wouldn't recommend really wetting it down because it won't blend with your hair. If you are going to wear the wet look, I would suggest that you do a braid pattern to install the clip-ins. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that I helped you guys with your purchase on betterlength.com. I also have a coupon code and a link in the description box as well to where you can purchase this hair. And I will see you guys in the next video.